If you do not analyze all these factors thoroughly and execute the right market positioning strategy, you may not get the desired results from the storage facility. It may seem like a lucrative opportunity, but before you jump in headfirst, it's crucial to understand the risks involved. Most important thing is positioning your business. Now, this constitutes of different factors like first being locating your competitors. What's the competition in your area? Their rates, their unit sizes, their contract terms. Since how long they have been in this market, their marketing, what kind of PR they have. Maybe they have someone who's been in, working in that facility for maybe 10 years. So imagine the kind of PR he'll have with a local population which is going to be your first customers. Second being understanding customer demands. Suppose you plan to buy a facility in a small town. What kind of population lives in that town? Are they aging or the town is closer to a university? Are there any manufacturing units in this area? What kind of businesses usually exist in that town? Because they are going to be your customers. They are the ones who, who are going to take your storage units. So it's very important to understand what's the population mix, like what's the demographics. Building the right mix of units. That is definitely most crucial of all the points I we are discussing. Having the right mix of sizes like post box size or a 5 by 5 or a 10 by 10 or a 10 by 20. When you analyze the demography of your location, you will be able to decide usually what kind of size mix you should have. Offering the amenities that the renters want. If your unit is closer to say a lakeside or a provincial park, then you might need storage units with more parking space for RVs or boats or ATVs or if you are or if you are on a busy outskirts of a busy industrial town then you might need more space for like warehouse sizes or like businesses so create exactly what probable renters in your area are most likely to need for that particular location constant need for active day-to-day -day management Unlike the common assumption, the management of these units is not at all completely hands-off. Even if you install the latest state-of-the-art management software, automate most functions, you will still need active management to, see some over, to oversee some business operation. Self-storage facilities require regular upkeep, including security system, checking updates with your software, climate control, Pest control, neglecting any of these crucial maintenance tasks can lead to costly damages and God forbid legal liability. Next is defaulters. Don't forget about the risk of delinquent payments or abandoned units. Even with the thorough tenant screening process, some individuals will still fail to pay their rent or abandon their units altogether. This can result in lost income and the need for legal action to reclaim the space along with auction expenses. If somebody doesn't pay the rent, yes, you can take legal action and get your space back and you can auction their stuff to recover your expenses. But all that also has a cost. Zoning regulations and legal restrictions. This factor poses an additional risk. Before investing, ensure you have a comprehensive understanding of the local laws of the town, that particular town and regulations surrounding the self-storage facilities. Failure to comply can lead to fines, penalties, even forced closure of your business. Competitive industry. Self-storage is a highly competitive industry. While there may be a growing demand for storage units, there's also an abundance of supply. This oversaturation can lead to an intense competition, making it challenging to attract and retain tenants. Just like any other investment, the self-storage market is subject to fluctuations, economic downturns, can significantly impact demand and rental rates, potentially causing a decline in your investment's value. Risk of oversupply. As storage facilities are easy to build and maintain, more investors are now attracted towards this business. As of now, this asset class is gaining very good attention and getting traction from a lot of new first-time business owners. This creates a potential 
threat of oversupply and in not so soon but definitely in the long run this can intensify the competition and de reduce the potential demand for a particular storage facility investing in cell storage can be rewarding but just as like any other business it's essential to approach it with caution consider these risks carefully and make an informed decision thank you for watching the video if you found this information helpful please subscribe to our channel for more valuable investment insights and let me know if you have any valuable comments or if you want to know anything more about this business i'll try my best to answer your question so hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and see you in the next one